Hi, this is Lou from Foothills Properties in Tucson. Today I'm out in Oro Valley. Uh, I'm looking sort of south and east at the back side, the Push Ridge side of the Catalinas. Um, I'm in Rancho Feliz on Placida Mesa Fria, uh, which is a street there. It's uh, older 70s types homes with a few updates on nice size lots. Uh, that's the cul-de-sac end of the street and you can see that some of the houses are more updated than others and you can notice that there are a few uh, travel trailers parked here. So it's a, that kind of neighborhood. Before you would put a travel trailer on this lot you need to discuss it with the property manager etc. But there is good parking here and there is a two, uh, there is no garage but there's good uncovered parking here. I'm walking up to the front of the house it's, it's a ranch-style home made out of uh, stabilized masonry. We call it slump block out here, but it's a good building material. Gives the look of adobe and brick, but it's not. It's more cost-effective. And some of the interior walls are still the stabilized masonry, and that's not uncommon in Tucson either. We're in the house, we're in the living room. I'll turn on the light to provide a little highlights for you. Uh, to my left is the entry closet. This is the living room. That's the dining room, uh, kitchen. Bedrooms are back through that arch. And over here is what was the garage, which is now a huge family room, laundry room, storage room. Could be a work room of some sort. Okay. I think the first thing we'll do is we'll go over to the former garage, now carpeted family room. You can see that they have a, a uh, won't call it a fireplace, but a stove here. And then here is the, oh, I didn't open that up. Here's the side of the house. While we're here, we'll go out and take a look at the back. This is the lot. Here's the fenced portion of the lot, which would be good for keeping kids, little kids in and controlling animals uh, if they're approved and if you have them. We'll go back in. If you haven't been here very long, you're going to wonder why when you get here, there's what looks like two electrical meters, and there's only one. That's because when these houses were built, uh, TEP gave credit for lower meter costs for the hot water tank, etc. And that was done away with years ago, and those are still there. You don't see them in the newer houses. I only know that because I've been here a while, and I've been in property management and real estate for years. So, a nice size room. Could have a ping pong pool table here. You could use it for home office. You could use it for family room, however you desire. This is the another storage area. And here we have a storage room laundry room, uh, electric hookup only, no gas, but room for a washer and dryer, and then good storage shelves in there. And there is a cable TV outlet right there. Okay, we're now into the family, uh, the family room. We just did the family room. We're now into the kitchen area. Uh, good counter space, very efficient stove and refrigerator and uh, sink are all together. Small pantry there. Pantry under the counters that opens from this side as well as from the other side. And then I didn't show you the porch, so I will take a look at the porch in the backyard. And when these houses were built, there's always a pass-through on them and the counter outside is still there. That's how the builder built them. It's a nice convenient feature. I'm going to close the door. 
take a look over here. The, the refrigerator has an ice maker, ice and water through the door. It's a two door, cupboard space underneath, dishwasher, and the counter of uh, the cupboards above. We're now into the hall. This is the linen closet, the hall bath, tub with shower, commode, single sink, again a linen cabinet, medicine cabinet, a bedroom here, and you'll note that this bedroom has uh, hard flooring and that I think was set up so it could be a den or a sewing room or playroom, what have you. And it's still usable as a bedroom because there is the closet. Furnace and hot water tank are both in the hall, easy to get to, and they both look newer, especially the furnace. last service a uh, couple months ago. We have the hall closet and it's got both hanging and shelf space. And then the second bedroom, second front bedroom with carpet and this is the master. Master bath, single sink, commode, stand up shower. We'll take a walk back through to the living room and then we'll go out front, give you another street scene. Another quick look at the kitchen. the family room, bonus room, and the living room. And I want to thank you for taking the tour. Another view of the Push Ridge side of the mountains. There's the, I would guess the tortillitas in the far distance and the yard. Thank you for taking the tour and have a great, great, great Tucson day and a great day wherever you are. Thank you.